Good morning, everybody, and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread Devotional and Scripture Song Broadcast for July 1st. Wow, we are in the month of July. We flew through June, and now we're going into July, and uh, the summer is uh, just rolling on along, and this year is half over. Can't believe it. Uh, life is like a vapor. You never know when your time is up, so best to get saved today if you're not already, and to live your life for Jesus and live it to the fullest for the Lord as much as we possibly can. Amen. All right, so today's topic for the first day of July is titled, When God Returns the Favor. And so we'll get into that in a few minutes, and we'll read the um, introductory uh, message from the um, editor and all that good stuff. So let's get started with the scripture song. And I'd like to greet you as always in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Amen. And so today's scripture song will be from Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1. And this is CD number 7 with 43 verses throughout the CD. So let me press play and we'll get started here to turn up the volume first. So let me do that. All right. Press play. Here we go. Ecclesiastes 12.1 Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Here we go. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. Remember thou thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, remember now, remember now thy Creator, the maze of thy youth. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, remember now, remember now thy Creator. Remember now thy Creator, remember now. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we should remember our Creator every day. Amen. All right, so we'll put that aside and get into the devotional and uh, sing that again towards the end of the broadcast, Lord willing. All right, so I'm going to read the word from the editor, which is Brother Tim Green. And he says here to start this month uh, for July, and it says here, I'll read you the scripture on the front of the cover first. It says, I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live, and we should. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. My t meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Psalm 104, verses 33 and 34. Amen. That's the passage from the cover, and that's what the cover looks like right there. It's backwards on the screen, I know, but that's what it looks like there. Amen. All right, so a word from the editor. And Brother Tim says here, I pray this note finds you blessed of our good God and rejoicing in the grace he has so abundantly provided. As always, this issue of the Baptist bread is filled with thoughts and writings of some of God's choice servants amen uh, before their passing to use uh, before their passing to use their material and continue their ministry here on earth amen other writers are still plowing a straight furrow uh, in the word of god and for his kingdom and of course the faithful folk at mission graphics that put this all together amen for them too uh, it is truly a labor of love in the sincere hope that a day or sixty or so will be a blessing to our readers. Without the churches that faithfully supply these little booklets for the people of God in their ministry, 
we would have no reason to exist. Uh, from the depths of my soul, he says, I thank you all and pray God's blessings on you all. I am grateful for those that write occasionally and express their appreciation and some who write and have other uh, and who have other motives. I love it all and all of you. And that was from Brother Tim Green. Amen. And so get into today's topic, what he wrote today for July 1st. And it's titled, When God Returns the Favor. And the passage is from Ezekiel 1659a. It says, For thus saith the Lord God, I will even deal with thee as thou hast done. Ezekiel 1659a, uh, the first part of verse 59. And, of course, Brother Tim Green is the author today. And he writes here, I guess I could have called this when God gives us what we gave him, or when God gives us what we deserve. Oh, I think you can grasp the tenor of our thoughts today. All right, <clears throat> All right. continue on. So praise the Lord that God doesn't give us what, he de what we deserve, and that would be to uh, perish in hellfire. Praise the Lord. If you're saved, you won't have to worry about that anymore. And so uh, continue on. He says, America has been a God-blessed nation amidst the myriad of the people of this planet. We have been given an abundance of natural resources, a land of plenty and, an, and of opportunity. Church steeples have pierced the sky pointing to God, but the people of these places of worship have gone astray and really have been led astray by shepherds in wolves' clothing. Yep, so true. Our sin, like any unholy incense, has wafted into the uh, or wafted into the nostrils of a holy God and brought unbridled shame on our land. We were once the home of the brave, but we have morphed into the home of the slave to sin and a debauchery unprecedented in human history. So you don't think you're not a slave, you're a slave to sin if you're still living in sin and uh, trusting your flesh. So got to release that old man and trust the new man, amen, the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, for as in the lamentations of Jeremiah, all the inhabitants of the world would not believe, uh, would not have believed, dot, 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 Lamentations 4.12, how far we have gone astray. Who would ever believe that a nation that sang, God shed his grace on thee, would spit in God's face by condoning sodomy, transgender ridiculousness, rampant rape, de devastating dope addictions, uh, marketing marijuana, uh, legal, and I could go on and on, uh, delineating the death-dealing, God-defying destruction of our nation's moral compass, right? What could we possibly say in our defense as a nation to deities designed to deal with thee as thou hast done? God help us. Yeah, God help us. And it starts with you, it starts with me, and uh, our individual uh, relationship with the Lord. A man can't, can't uh, do anything about what the other person's doing. All you can do is pray and pray for this nation and pray for those in leadership and pray that they would call upon Jesus to save their soul and get right with God. And uh, it starts, starts with uh, the individual, amen? So praise the Lord. All right, so start working on yourself before you start worrying about anybody else and pray for uh, the brethren and the sistren. Amen. That their walk with the Lord would be right and always on track. And um, so, but again, you can't uh, do anything for anybody else. You only give an account for yourself, right? All right. So that is the end of today's topic on when God returns the favor. Mm. All right. So keep that in mind and ponder that for a while. Okay. So now it's time to get into today's hymn story. Let me get a drink of water here really quick. If I can get it open. Yeah, sometimes we put these things on here really tight. There we go. All right, so today's hymn and hymn story is from the hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem. All right, so, O Little Town of Bethlehem. And this was uh, written by Philip 
Phillips Brooks and uh, Lewis H. Redner. <clears throat> All right, so let me try to get the tune here and sing this here. All right. Oh, little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie above thy deep and dreamless sleep. The silent stars go by, yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above while mortals sleep the angels keep their watch of wondrous love O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth and praises sing to god the king and peace to men on earth. How silently, how silently, the wondrous gift is given, so God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in be born in us today. We hear the holy angels the great glad tidings tell. O oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right, so that is the him and now let's go ahead and get into the story behind the hymn "O Little Town of Bethlehem," written in 1868, and the passage is from Micah Micah five two. So let me read that really quick. Micah five two. All right, Micah Micah five two. <clears throat> it says here Micah five two, but thou Bethlehem Ephrata. Though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is, to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. And that is talking about Jesus coming. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. So, let me press play here on the thing here. All right. This is the hymn story behind the hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem. It says, at nearly six feet, uh, six, weighing 300 pounds, Phillips Brooks cast a long shadow. He was a native Bostonian, the ninth generation of distinguished Puritan stock, who entered the Episcopalian ministry and pastored with great power in Philadelphia and in Boston. His sermons were uh, topical rather than ex ex expeditional, uh, and he's been criticized for uh, thinness of doctrine. Uh, nevertheless, he's considered one of America's greatest preachers. Mm. Uh, his delivery came in lightning bursts. He felt he had more to say than time in which to say it. Uh, while in Philadelphia's Holy Trinity Church, Phillips, 30, visited the Holy Land on December 24, 1865, traveling by horseback from Jerusalem. He attended a five-hour uh, Christmas Eve service at the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. 
he was deeply moved. I remember standing in the old church in Bethlehem, he later said, uh, close to the spot where Jesus was born. Uh, okay. Uh, when the whole church was ringing uh, hour after hour with splendid hymns of praise to God. Amen. Uh, um, how again and again it seemed as if I could hear voices I knew well telling each other of the wonderful night of the Savior's birth. Amen for that. <clears throat> Uh, three years later, as he prepared for the Christmas season of 1867, he wanted to compose an original Christmas hymn for the children to sing during their annual uh, program. Recalling his uh, magical night in Bethlehem, uh, he wrote a little hymn of five stanzas and handed the words to his organist, Louis uh, Redner, saying, Louis, why not write a new tune for my poem? If it is a good one, if it is a good tune, I will name it uh, uh, St. Louis after you. Uh, Louis struggled with his assignment, complaining of no inspiration. Finally, on the night before the Christmas program, he awoke with the music ringing in his soul. He jotted down the melody, then went back to sleep. The next day, a group of six Sunday school teachers and 36 children sang, O Little Town of Bethlehem. So they sang Old Little Town of Bethlehem. Brooks was so pleased with the tune that he did indeed name it for his organist, uh, changing the spelling of St. Louis uh, so as not to embarrass him. The fourth stanza, usually omitted from our hymn book, says, uh, When children pure and happy pray to the blessed uh, child, uh, where misery cries out to thee, Son of the Mother Mild, uh, where charity stands watching and faith holds wide the door, the dark night uh, work wakes, the glory breaks, and uh, Christmas comes once more. Okay, <clears throat> interesting uh, stanza there. Maybe that's why it was omitted, because number one, Jesus is not a child anymore. He was grown and he lived a holy, sinless life, and then he died for our sins and was buried and rose again the third day, according to Scripture. And uh, so, praise the Lord for that. Amen. All right, so that was an interesting little story behind uh, the hymn, O Little Town of Bethlehem. All right, so tomorrow's hymn and hymn story will be from the hymn, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is, written by Henry W. Baker and... John B. Dykes, and it was written in 1868, and the passage will be from Psalm 23-4. So that will be tomorrow's hymn and hymn story. Amen. So let's go ahead and sing today's scripture song one more time, and then we'll wrap it up for today. Amen. All right. Let's play here. Ecclesiastes 12-1. Remember, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Here we go. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth. Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them remember now remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth when the days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, remember now, remember now thy creator, remember now thy creator, remember Amen. 
All right, well, that'll be it for today's broadcast. But before I go, let me give you tomorrow's scripture song for uh, the second day of July. And it will be from 2 Timothy 3.16. It says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Amen. So that'll be tomorrow's scripture song. And then tomorrow's topic for July 2nd will be titled, Is It Worth It? And the passage will be from Matthew 19, 13 through 14. Amen. And so I'll give you the information here for the uh, Baptist Spread devotional. They'll order these booklets and they come in a box of 10 and they're twelve ninety five every other month. And so I'll give you the um, addresses here. So the address for the Baptist Spread is 37055 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan, 48185. And their phone number is 734-425-0466. And their email is bb at joybaptist.com. And Brother Tim's information is Evangelist Tim Green at P.O. Box 1, Day Heights, Ohio, 45150. And the website is www.timgreenministries.org. Amen. So that's the information for uh, the Baptist Bread Devotional and the information to get a uh, hold of these uh, scripture songs, either by downloading them through MP3 format or ordering the CDs, is on the website at www.dailyscripturesongs.com. And that's Brother Dean and Sister Patty's webpage. And so you can go check that out there and read up on what's going on with them and uh, the upcoming VBS program that they'll be um doing here in about a month or so and and so uh check that out amen and pray for them and all missionaries around the world and you too can go be a bold witness and matter of fact getting ready to go out here in a few minutes to do some uh weekly morning ministry uh so pray for brother mike and i and whoever else joins us that uh goes well as we go hold out signs and perhaps pass out some gospel tracts if anybody passes by so pray for uh souls to be receptive and people will somebody would call on jesus today man you can be a witness in your own town by going and holding out signs passing out tracts however uh go door knocking amen so pray for pray for these ministries that we do here at bible baptist and um amen and uh, whatever church you're involved in um just uh, get out there and tell someone about jesus today and that jesus saves amen all right well gotta get going gotta head out here shortly so uh, thanks for watching, and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. All right, see y'all, Lord willing, tomorrow. Bye for now.